Bill Heritage. I'm the owner of William Heritage Vineyards here in Mullica Hill, New Jersey. We acquired the farm from my father. He decided he wanted to retire and in, uh, gave me about a, two days to make the decision. <laughs> We're a fifth generation farmer, so we've been doing tree fruit and apples, peaches, pears, but uh, grapes we started about 20 years ago. It's 135 total acres for the farm and 70 of it is what we're farming in vineyards currently. We uh, specialize in the, the Bordeaux varieties. Uh, seems to be the right variety for here. Growers need tools that still meet the, the standards uh, for growing practices. They, they can't afford to lose here. This is a, a difficult job uh, with many variables and they can't really afford to go backwards in efficacy where Howler will keep them in the same place or better than what they're used to. I think we're more like sustainable, you know, what it takes for us to continue to, to be, uh, to survive, to be able to operate. I mean, we gotta remember it's still a business. We still have to have to pay the bills and all. We are uh, herbicide free, so we're, you know, we're moving in that direction, you know, it takes a little bit of time. Uh, figuring out how to make that work without uh, affecting the quality and the quantity of the finished grapes that we're going to turn into wine. Vineyard manager and the winemaker some often are, are trying to uh, fit the spray schedule perfectly for what they're producing. And it's not always easy. Uh, as they get towards the end of the season, there are certain products that affect the wine in a negative or maybe even positive way. Howler has no negative effect on wine, and your winemaker will really love the fact that you're using Howler in place of uh, some of the other broad spectrum fungicides. They're telling me that our food nutrition is not what it used to be, you know, and so we have to get more nutrition back into the soil, which will then put more nutrients naturally into the finished uh, fruits and vegetables. Over the years, we've used products um, that are also considered broad spectrum, but the world is not tolerating those products uh, as well as they used to, and growers are wanting to clean up their crop and, and grow a even healthier crop than they were already. So Howler is really effective because it has a zero day to harvest, four hour re-entry, which is very different than most broad spectrum fungicides. Some of the broad spectrums can't be used 66 days to harvest, so this is giving them a flexible tool to use whenever they desire, and it's going to produce a, a, a better product in the end. You don't know if you don't try. So uh, I think it's best that we're looking for other, some other products that help cost reasons, uh, renewable reasons, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of reasons to, to at least try, you know. It'll help the world, it'll help us. So I think it's all good.